the Dixon V700. Um, it's a 7 inch uh, Android tablet uh, based on the RK29 chipset. And um, I'm going to be showing you how to flash it uh, with the like, firmware. Um, and yeah, just to show you how easy it is. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to put this into recovery mode. Now, there's a few ways of doing it. You can either um, switch it off and then hold your escape key, which is up here, and uh, plug in the cable, or you can do like just like I do. I don't want to wait for it to switch off, so I press the reset and then I press the volume and I release the reset. And you can see at the bottom of the computer screen here it has registered that this is now in flash mode where it is RK29 device. Okay, you're going to have this file here. You want to extract it to your desktop, which I've already done, so there's the folder once it's extracted. Once you open that folder, you see these files. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to config.ini and you want to open that uh, to edit it. Double click it. And there on the fourth line where it's selected one, change that to selected two. That will change the program to English. Close that. The next thing you want to do is you just want to start up RK batch tool. And as long as that is in green it means that your your um, your device is in uh, flash mode. You'll see it's already picked up update.image. Uh, there's the firmware version when it was created for chip support, the boot version, and the boot time. Um, an upgrade, what that will do is that will put the firmware onto, onto, the, um, onto the device. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, it will put the firmware onto the device, um, however it will not uh, delete any information. And if you choose to restore, that completely formats the system and puts a fresh uh, firmware onto it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a restore, um, and what I'm going to have to do is, it takes quite a while to do, it takes about 5, five to 6 minutes while it uh, write the firmware. So I'll press restore and then you'll see it says it's formatting the device. And um, once it's finished formatting the device, it will then download the firmware onto the device. And once it's downloaded the firmware, it will then test the device. Um, so, and as I say, it takes quite a while. Obviously, you've got to uh, just when we were done correcting all that. So I'm going to just speed up the video for now and uh, we'll catch up once we've finished uh, testing the firmware and we'll carry on from there. Okay, so now we're approaching the finalizing of the writing of the firmware to the device. Once it's done that, you'll see it's now going to test the firmware to make sure it will operate correctly. This again is going to take a few minutes. Just sit back as long as it's carrying on, there's nothing to worry about. If it does crash, you just put your, um, you just restart the program, your device will still be in flash mode. You cannot damage flash mode that is uh, stored on a chip, it's not stored in the firmware. And you can just start reflashing the phone as the device without any problem. Now, obviously, this does a little bit faster than it writes the firmware, but it still takes a while. So, I'm going to pause the video again and we'll catch up at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of the flashing. Okay, ignore this, that you must format the disk. Just cancel that. The program is going to format the disk automatically. There it goes. And then it copies the file across. It's just a little movie file. Um, just so you can see, I don't know what, I don't know what was the purpose of the movie file. Okay, there you go, restored, done, success, okay. What you want to do now is you want to click switch. Okay, that's it. 
So you need to unplug your device from the computer and um, once you've unplugged it you can then restart it. So let's just do that quickly. So just unplug it and just get a pin and reset it. And then you press your power button. And it will come to life. <laughs>